All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to uh, the impatienttrader.blogspot.com. Um, just wanted to do a quick video here on uh, uh, the patterns that unfolded last week, and uh, let's see if we can maybe see if we can position ourselves uh, smartly in for next week and see if we can make some money on these on these on these inverse funds here. So this is my, this is the title of my latest post called "God Shorts," and I'll tell you exactly why. I titled, I titled that such as so as you can see here we have a chart of the SKF okay right here as you can see here this is the 60 minute chart of the SKF and you can see what's happening here we are uh, on Friday we gapped up here pretty nicely um, to 180 and it reversed you know qu quite a bit all the way down to almost 160 here so you know it fell almost 20 points from the highs but I mean it, so I mean that was short term bearish for this index but as you can see here it's really nothing nothing has really changed in the pattern so you can see here it's kind of forming almost like a little bull flag type formation on a 60 minute chart you know you can see here volume patterns look very bullish here you can see nice lots of green candles big green candles and very very little red bars so for next week, I'm definitely expecting I'm a, I'm gonna trade this in a in a bullish in a bullish manner, of, you know, based on the 60 minute chart here. So maybe 200. It's a, it's at 163 right now. So maybe 200 could be in the cards for next week. So definitely something. Keep, uh, this is a chart definitely you want to keep a watch keep a watch on for next week. <coughs> and you can see here this is the SRS, which has been on fire to say the least lately up 20 points on Friday as you can see here and you can see here what's what happened you know uh, this pattern is still looks bullish you know believe it or not you know this as you can see here it's setting up on a uh, this is a 30 minute chart it's setting up in an ascending triangle here and you can see breakout from this pattern measure measures about 30 points so right now it's trading at 180 so you can expect at least 200 210 on this index by next week you know, probably by Friday. You know, so we definitely gotta, we definitely gotta watch this one too. Um, you know, it looks like more selling is is in the cards for the markets. You know, it look Friday, it looks it felt scary enough at the open, but then we never got that sell off. We never got that sell off that we were looking for intraday. You know, that vicious selling, where which gets everybody frightened. You know, and we just never saw it. Um, Anyway, uh, here's the here's the chart of the QID. This is a 60-minute chart of the QID, and as you can see here, it's a very very evident pattern here. We have a high here around 92, another high here around 93, and you can see how it's pulled back nicely. But you can see the pullback was contained right here. You see, it's not falling down. You know, this this just tells me that the sellers are still out there. You know, and you can see here this sideways chop here this is bullish for this pattern anytime you see a sideways sideways chop in a, in a trend if the trend is up and you see sideways chop rather you know instead of a crashing down it's chopping sideways it, it, it's just it's just relieving overbought but really it's it's relieving overbought because it wants to head higher you know so so out of this pattern, you know, you got to expect at least a breakout above 93 next week. Maybe could be we could get as high as 100 on this index on the QID by next week. So definitely something to keep a watch on for sure. And here is a chart of the TWM, which is the inverse uh, Russell 2000 index. And as you can see here, very similar to the QID, we had a high, we had a pulled back smartly, consolidated here. We had another. We had a second high that retested the old high of 146 here at 144.50. Pulled back, and once again we pulled back, but we're not crashing down. So this just tells me that this index is only is buying time until we until we we break out. So so here as you can see it's consolidating, and I'm I'm totally expecting this index. This is this looks like a very very bullish pattern for me here. This looks very very bullish. So definitely one to keep an eye on for sure for next week. Probably uh, maybe like 150 could easily reach 150 next week at least. If this thing breaks out, we could see 160, 170. So man, it just it just looks it's, it looks like it could be a very scary week next week in the markets. There's no doubt about it. 
based on these charts at least you know any anything can change with this market but these charts are are, are screaming to me now that they want to head they want to head lower i mean on the indices and you can see here this is a 60, 60 minute chart of the spy s p 500 index and you can see here what's happening is uh it's basically it's consolidating in this continuation triangle here i mean this triangle usually measures the halfway point of whatever the prevailing trend was so i mean here you, st you start to see a sell-off here starts to accelerate and now we're moving sideways into in this pattern and you can see here it's just i mean there's no there's no bullish impulse you know every bullish impulse is met with sellers i mean uh, i mean and they're selling them right away so definitely something to keep an eye on if it breaks 84 85 84 this area right around here uh, you can expect to sh for us to just water to just waterfall from this pattern waterfall decline so definitely bearish on this index and here we have uh, this is the Q the uh, the four Q's the QQQQ which is uh, um, the Nasdaq 100 index and you can see here similar to the SPY we have here and this one's more evident here because you can see the volume patterns are quite are quite bearish here we have big big red bars here on the volume and you can see here it's buying time by moving sideways and churning at lows you know when you turn low when you turn at lows on a 60 minute chart here when you're churning at lows without any bullish impulse and you have here this is a third test so you have one test second test here's the third test and I always tell you what the third test you know is the, these are usually the ones that break the pattern so I th I'm totally expecting a breakdown from this pattern here and here's an index I want you guys all to keep a very close eye on which is the BKX which is the banking index and you can see what's happening here is we're coming here as well too for a third test of these lows we had a low here in mid-july you know we had a nice huge rally here you know got everybody happy everyone thought that the bottom was in and you come in here and you can see here we retested these lows again and usually second tests are usually successful very very rarely do do, do charts break break uh, break lows on the second test and you can see here we popped and here's where here's where the bulls are starting to sweat here I can see them I can see a panic selling coming coming kicking in here once these lows break which I think they'll break next week I mean usually I told you third tests are usually the ones that break and here you can tell we're coming very very fast to so this third test of 46 here so a break of 46 and we could head to 40 very very fast very fast so and definitely here look at the MACD here this MACD you can see how the slow the this is the slow line right here this is the fast line and you can see how you're starting to see separation so they're trying to separate here and when usually when you see separation that means that the trend is about to get stronger so definitely something to keep on an eye on here for next week so anyway guys um this is just shows uh, how what, what my game plan my, my game plan is for next week, and I'm definitely going to be looking to re-enter these short, these inverse short funds because I think I think they're going to be ready to to take off, and the indices yet again are going to tank again. So guys, uh, just uh, you know, just trade smart and just be careful. You know, you don't always have to trade bullish. You know, you don't you know just because we're oversold does not mean that we can't go lower. You know, we're in a bear market, and you know the, the trend is your friend. You know, like. They they can keep they can keep going lower, you know, uh, for for a, for much more than your than your account can handle. So just make sure that you you trade the patterns that you see. I know it's it's easy to it's easy to, to want to be bullish after you see the market tank a thousand points, but you you know you really have to let the charts do the talking. And right now these charts you know they want to head lower on the indices and higher on the inverse funds. So trade smart, guys. Good luck.